Now this year we opened City Neighbors High School, a brand new high school with 90 children from 23 different middle schools across the city. And um, there are many different factors that come together to make a great school, but tonight I'm just going to talk about the school environment and why it matters. So this might look familiar to you. It's called the Ford model. It's a shotgun hallway with um, cells off of it. When the bell rings, everybody should be in the same place at the same time. If I catch you out in the hallway, you're getting a pass, right? So the cafeteria, what's the message? You know, come in, eat, clean up, leave, make room for the next people. It's designed to feed a lot of people in a short amount of time and to be cleaned easily. That's its purpose. Um, another important space, of course, is the classroom. Now, when we went to school, the teacher held all the information, and we lined up ready to receive that information. But now information is available to everyone. People have access, and, and um, lots of people can have that information. So this school environment, it actually doesn't work. This is a beautiful school that was designed in Indonesia from the villagers, and they call this building the heart of school. So when we had the opportunity to renovate a school building, we wanted to get to the heart of our school. When we got the keys to Hamilton Middle School in Northeast, this was one of those buildings you used to hear about in the public school system where kids literally threw desks out the windows. And when I walked through and felt the message of this building, that actually may have been the proper thing to do. <laughs> and so we decided to use this question to design our space. What would it take to make sure that every student is known, loved, and supported academically. This is a pod. This is a space in our school. This space has 15 students in it and an advisor for an hour and a half every day. Every student has a desk rather than lockers in the hallways. There's a living room area. There's a cafe area. This space is designed to support a different kind of relationship between the teacher and the students. There's a shared responsibility. There's a collaboration. The teacher gets to see the kids in a different light. And all the furniture and the desks and the different textures and colors are designed to support that happening. These students have a chance to relate to each other at a different level, and they can feel that the school values that relationship. And hopefully none of these boys are wanting or needing to throw a desk out the window. Living is a graceful thing. And a great school environment allows that to shine through. For this student, everything that he's touching and seeing and being should be a message to him about his own grace. This is outside our auditorium. The, um, Nate and Brittany have just found a good place to do some work. This is their school. This is where we have a theater and we have speakers and debates. Maybe someday we'll have an Ignite there. Um, <laughs> all right. So we've changed what the hallways are all about. There is a lot of glass between the classroom and the hallways, the built-in bench, so that the teacher can be doing passive supervision. Kids can be learning in different ways, in different areas of the room, and they can be um, all together in that way. Everything about our environment is a message. The curve of the bench is meant to soften the hallway and soften the possibilities for what we might say to each other and how we might say it. The colors we chose were intentional to create that. Now for the cafeteria, and you know how important cafeterias can be in high school, we just asked the kids to come together. We put them through a process and said, if you could have the all-time coolest cafeteria for your high school, what would it look like? And they obviously came up with some pretty cool stuff, right? This space belongs to them. It has a stage, there's a piano on it, there's a cool black leather couch seating area, there's booths, there's pub-sized tables. Whatever they came up with, we made it happen for them. And one thing cool is the pictures that are on the walls in the cafeteria are of teachers and students. So in that portrait on the wall is actually our principal when he was a little boy sitting at his kitchen table with his big brother. This is like a time travel possibility. Now he's eating with his students someday. This is Danique Dali, our principal right now with, Ra with um, Ryan and Josh. It takes relationships to have a great school. And there's a lot of different factors. There's a the curriculum, there's the program. All of these have to resonate and come together and send the kids the message and allow the teachers to do their best work so that every child can be known and loved and supported academically. Um, in Baltimore, it's difficult sometimes in public schools, and high school especially, to get the kids to want to come. City Neighbors High School has the highest attendance rate of any public high school in Baltimore City now. <laughs> That's right. 
We want the kids and the kids want us.